welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Lull Farm in Hollis, and I'm joined by Rachel Messini from UNH Cooperative Extension, someone who may become known in the coming months as the bug lady, not because she <laughs> bugs everyone, but because of her extensive knowledge on the subject here. And Rachel, we're gonna start off with something that uh, created a lot of devastation here. Yeah, um, today's segment, we're gonna go over how to identify some of the caterpillar defoliators that you're gonna see in your yard, possibly. In the southern section of New Hampshire, we had an outbreak of the gypsy moth. And the gypsy moth can be identified with the five pairs of blue dots, followed by six pairs of red dots. This time of year, you're not gonna see the caterpillars, but you will see their egg masses. And this is something that you can be on the lookout for and to scrape those right off your bark. So just scrape them, don't use a blowtorch. Do not use a blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> so, now this is one of the more unsightly things that we see all around here. And exactly, the Eastern Tent Caterpillar is another defoliator. Usually it's early on in the season. They form webs in the crotches of trees, usually in your apple, wild cherry, cherry trees. They can be um, identified, they've got a white line down their back and blue and white um, stripes down either side. So their their webs are their primary focus. Now in terms of getting rid of these webs, just take a broom or something like that? You can like take a broom handle, which I would recommend, just stick it up into the um, nest itself and twirl it around, you could do that. Also, this time of year, you'd be looking for the egg masses, which would be um, encircling some of the twigs, and you can prune those right out. Okay, forest tent caterpillar. The next one is the forest tent caterpillar. This one also, we had an explosion of population this year in the White Mountains. It devastated about 9,000 acres um, of trees, and it's a distinguishing features are down its back. It's got keyhole shapes or um, footprints, white, and it's got blue and um, black stripes down the sides. They do not form webs. They form a mat. So, um, and they come out, they go to that mat in order to molt. Finally, we have the fall webworm. This is what we are seeing now. And those are the nests that are on the tips of the branches and it moves into the trunk. You can just, again, go out there. It doesn't do a, a lot of damage to the tree, but it is aesthetically displeasing. And how do we get rid of that? We see this one here way? you can prune out or you can just leave it alone and it will die out. Okay. Now, Rachel, have most of these bugs done their damage already? Are they to the trees and what have you? Well, they've defoliated, but again, trees are resilient, so they're going to push new leaves. The eastern tent caterpillar and the gypsy moth did their defoliation earlier in the season. Okay. And if I want some more information about these bugs and maybe how to get rid of them, I'm not quite sure, what do I do? Sure. You can contact the Education Center at one 398 four seven six nine or visit us on extension.unh.unh. Okay, thanks very Thank much. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.